Five months of negotiation, but really more like two years. So our long-term contract expired in 2021, and so um, and so we ended up negotiating a short-term contract for just one year. We called it a stopgap contract. Under the new four-year EMS contract, current employees will see at minimum a 4% salary increase. Salaries will also go up for entry-level medics and long-term employees to help with recruitment and retention. So I hope that having a four-year contract really provides some stability um, and some security in knowing that there will be raises in the future um, and also a path of where we hope to go in the future as well. It was, they were very transparent. It was, it was open, uh, very candid uh, conversations. Uh, those are sometimes are very tense. This, this was, it never came to be an intense conversation. And, and so I'm very proud of the, and I'm very proud of the outcome. As of Friday, Austin firefighters also have a new contract after an arbitration panel got involved. The two-year contract includes base wage increases of 4% each year, as well as special stipends for firefighters in wildfire, arson, and dispatch divisions. But the union president says ultimately it's all not enough to keep up with the cost of living. Yeah, I don't want to blame council. I don't want to blame the arbitrators. But the city could have kept their promises and done a lot better. But I think the, the outcome uh, got a fair contract. I want the firefighters to be well treated, well respected, and well compensated. The deal comes after negotiations between the union and the city came to a halt in mid-August. You know, we're glad that the contract is done. Uh, it did stop some of the bleeding. It did not make up for the past. The promise is broken.